If you've never seen Fill It Expert before, Fill It Expert can do quite a bit, but there's really just one simple thing I want you to know about Fill It Expert because it can help get you out of some tricky situations. Let's say that I'm trying to apply fillets to the part that we see here. And what I want to do is I want to apply a two millimeter fillet across several different edges in the bottom of this part where we see this boss extrude. So maybe I want to fill it two millimeters along that um, interior corner. And then I want to also fill it across the top of that boss extrude. Well, as soon as I click on this top edge, you'll see that the preview disappears. And that's because there isn't enough geometry to execute both of those fillets simultaneously. Um, that wall height right there is really only two millimeters tall. And so if you've got two uh, fillets that are both two millimeters, they would overlap. And that essentially means that one of those fillets has to execute before the other. So if I hit the green check, check mark right now, you'll see that nothing happens. It basically throws a big error saying this isn't going to work. And this is really what I want you to know about is if you go to the top of that fillet property window and you go to fillet expert, like I said, this tool can do quite a bit, but the best thing, um, or at least the most important thing that I think you guys should be aware of is that it can help order these fillets in a way that will actually work. So if I just go ahead and select two millimeters again for my fillet radius and then select those same four edges across this boss extrude, my preview isn't visible, but if I hit the apply button, you'll see that this little fillet expert uh, progress bar appears, and then it is actually able to create those fillets. And what it's doing is it's going in and trying to see if it can break up this one fillet feature into several fillet features so that we have an order of operations for which fillets get created in which order. Once it's done, if I hit the green check mark, you'll actually see at the bottom of the tree here that even though I really only intended to create one fillet feature, it went ahead and it broke it up into four different fillet features and found that there was a way to execute these in a specific order to make them happen. So I use this all the time to get myself out of a tricky situation. Um, you do give a little bit of control up because you don't necessarily um, know which order that that uh, fillet expert tool is going to create those fillets in. You do have the ability to reorder them later on but more than anything I think this is just a great way to save yourself from having a big headache um, if you've got a complex region that you're trying to fill it and you just want to know if it's possible depending on the order of operations try out fill it expert I think it's something that's great for uh, kind of helping you get out of a jam